Hey everyone, welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. Today we are going to learn a few tips in Flutter that will be the really helpful in your coding journey. Let's start from the first tips that is wrap widget. When you are making the responsive UI, you need to wrap content dynamically, otherwise, you face the error. Wrap widgets come as a rescue of this problem. I have demonstrated you by using the one example. You can see in wrap widget, you just need to give the direction. It may be horizontal or vertical. First, let's try on horizontal. This is just a square container. I have just defined a height weight and its color. And I give the random 67 color. During creating the app, Flutter provides the responsive design. Your app are used in mobile device tab and the OF. If you are going to creating this design for a single screen, there is a no problem. You can do this by different way. If you are going to create a UI for responsive design, there is problem. Wrap is the solution of this problem. I can show you. If I have increased the width, you can see the magic. That's why we have used the wrap widget instead of other. This is for horizontal and and let's try for vertical. If you decrease the height of your device, you can see by using the wrap widget, you are not facing any overflow error. That's it for it. If you need the code, I'll provide you the source code link is in description. And next step is spacer widget. Using container with certain height and width to create a responsive space between the widget that may look good on one screen but will not look the same in the different size screen. This is the magic of spacer widget. You can see container widget behavior is like this and spacer widget behavior is like this. One feature of spacer widget is this. It sends its behavior according to the screen size. It is most useful during creating the responsive app. And another feature is you can define its custom size between the object. In spacer, inside the Felix, I have defined one in its take the equal size between the object. If I have defined its two and here I have defined its five. And let's see how is it we have. You can see the output. This widget is most useful if you have required the custom size between the object. Ever wanted the widget to have the height and width exactly in the same proportion to its screen height and width, you are safe. Fractionally size box widget is available in our Flutter. Just like if you have increased or decreased the size of the screen, the box behave proportionally to its screen. Just like if you have decreased the size of the screen, it's also decreased the size of the object. If you have increased the size of the screen, it's also increased its height. Same for the width as well. It's made clear to you. You can compare these two. This is just only a container and this is the fractionally size box. Let's see. Container heights and width is same as it is, but fractional size box height is decreased if we have decreased the size of the screen. Same for width, you can see this is most useful during the responsive app. Last but not the least, this is bulk declaration. If you have been declaring each member separately all the time, you can declare member of the same type at once, just like if you need to declare name middle name and last name these all are a string but we have defined it separately same as here this is the double data type and we have defined it separately and this is the integer data type and we have defined as member separately instead of this you can go with this we have defined the same data type at once it makes the code clear and shorter as well we have defined the double data type at once and we have also defined the string and integer data type is one. You don't need to define it separately. In today's video, we have discussed the four tips that you have really helpful in your coding journey. For now, that's it. In upcoming video, we have discussed more tips as well. 